Hey everyone, I thought it would be a good idea to walk you guys through Blackboard and My Accounting Lab since those are the two pieces of software you'll be using on in this uh, online class 146. So um, for those of you who are not familiar with how to access Blackboard, you go into the MiraCosta website, miracosta.edu, you'll see Blackboard as a choice in the upper left hand corner. You click on Blackboard, you log in to Blackboard. I already have saved my, my um, username and my password, so I can basically just log in. And if you've already been in to Blackboard once or twice, um, it'll usually just take you right back in there without you even having to go through the login window. This is the home screen for Blackboard once you've entered in. And um, it's showing me as an instructor in 146, you'll be shown as a student in 146. So you'll have stuff down here. Um, so when you click on 146, it takes you into um, Blackboard into the 146 home screen. Okay, so this is the home page, the landing page for our class 146. And um, if you click on the home page, it shows you some convenient things like do you have any announcements, what's past due, what's due in the next, uh, you know, today, tomorrow, this week, etc. Um, what needs attention, etc. So it's kind of like a place where you can look. It's almost like a calendar. Um, announcements is where you, I will be posting um, announcements to you guys and you guys when you first go into Blackboard need to go into your profile page and make sure that your email address is entered in there and that it's entered correctly because if it's not um, I won't be able to send you emails um, you'll have to look in here and if you do have the correct email address set up it'll not only load in the announcement here when you go into Blackboard, but it'll also send the announcement as an email to you to your regular email address. So it is a good idea to make sure that you get your email address loaded in there correctly in Blackboard and um, go into Blackboard Student Help if you need help in doing that. Course Info, this is where your syllabus is located. Um, which at this point you probably have already seen because I've given you access to Blackboard. This is my picture. This is me. Um, course content is where you should go each week um, and maybe go in right now and click on each week so you know what's going to be expected of you for each week. I'm going to real quickly go into the student preview area. I, well, um, I'm not going to. I'm actually going to say in the instructor view. Um, I, I think everything looks the same right now in the student view as it does in my instructor view, except if we were to pop over into the student view, all of this stuff at the bottom from where it says course management and on down, it will not show in your view. But all of this stuff up here, um, all of these buttons, they show in both views. And um, if you clicked on week one, you'll see that you guys owe me an autobiography, which you're going to do in the discussion board, which is right over here. Um, you're going to have to look at the intro video. And you're going to be um, asked to go in and register for my accounting lab for the first time. And so I've given you a link for that. Um, that's where you're going to do your homework and take your quizzes and your midterms and your final. But there are going to be other assignments every once in a while for certain weeks which are not going to be accessible through my accounting lab. They are only accessible through Blackboard. That's why you need to go into course content each week, click on the week you're on, and I tried to make it easy by putting both the dates and the week, which by the way all of this should tie back into my syllabus and then it'll show you what you have due for each week. For instance, when you get down to, I think it's week seven. 
Okay, it's not week seven, maybe it's week six. In week six, you guys have a partnership tax return that you have to complete. So I showed you here, um, I told you here in a little email um, what you have to do. Here are all the um, attachments, the, the problem facts, which will give you the name of the partnership and the, you know, all of the income and expenses that you're going to be putting on the form. And, um, and then here are the forms that you'll use to fill it out to fill out the return. You can either use these forms, which by the way, it will not foot your totals for you. If you use the forms, you're gonna to have to have a calculator and make sure you add everything correctly and subtract everything correctly. Or you can go into um, taxact.com and download the software. And I'll show you in a minute an, a way to do that. Okay, so that's course content. Make sure you're going in there every week. Discussion board, as I said, is where you're going to add your, um, you're going to load in your autobiography. Everything in discussion board can be seen by everybody else, I believe. There might be a way to make it private, but it's basically where we as a class get together virtually and have discussions with each other. So you'll put your autobiography here. There's going to be another couple of, um, extra credit assignments that are worth, I think, 10 points each, where I'm gonna ask you to discuss something, and I don't have that figured out yet, so it's not in here, but this is where you will do that, okay? That's where you'll do that work. My grades is where you check your grades, um, and right now there's not a way to look at this, but once I make this available to you guys and I've had a, gotten everything loaded in, you'll be able to see your grades for each week here. Um, and you'll also be able to see them in my accounting lab, and I'll show you that in a minute. But you won't be able to see your grades for like the tax return and the, that autobiography because those are done outside of my accounting lab. So this is your overall grade place um, that where you'll track your grades. Tools. Um, and right now we're in the instructor view, so I'm going to go into the student view so that you can see what the tools are that are available to you. And one of the tools is My Accounting Lab. So this is another way that you can enter My Accounting Lab to register for the first time. You'll also notice My Grades is both here and here. Announcements is both here and here. Same with discussion board, it's here and here. Um, there's a place here to send an email. You can send an email to me here. Um, and this would be the main place where you would click to send an email to me as the instructor if you have a question. And then there's a student help desk here. And all this does is give you, takes you back to the MiraCosta website to the student help desk link or area of the website, tells you the hours of operation, gives you the email address to ask for help, and it even gives you a phone number. Oh, and they have online live support, which I have clicked on before. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I mean, sometimes they're there and sometimes they're not. Okay, so we're gonna go into Pearson's, um, I'm taking you back into the instructor view right now this isn't too confusing for you and we're going to go into um, Pearson's my accounting lab right now and when I go in there um, because I'm going in as the instructor I've already registered obviously and it's showing me all of the homework so and the quizzes so this is kind of what your view will look like when you go into all assignments. It will look somewhat the same as this. And um, if you want to take the, if you want to do the homework, the homework is not showing right now, but let's just look on chapter 10 homework. So if you wanted to start doing the homework for chapter 10, um, you would just go into this area here and you would click on 
you know, the first question and it takes you into the first question. And when you get done with the first question, it automatically takes you into the second homework question. And um, so this is how you do your homework. This is also how you take your quizzes. Um, this is the place where you're going to spend most of your time, to be honest, in the class. Um, when you're in there, and by the way, that took you into all, that was the all assignments view. Where I'm taking you now is basically the home page for my accounting lab, your home page. So this is your home page for our class. And um, right now I'm in the instructor's view. So see these little areas, see where it says document sharing, communication tools, but it's got like a little person with a slash through it. That's because I'm not going to make those, those um, menu choices available to you. You obviously won't have access to the instructor tools either. And you're not going to have access to the syllabus here. Why? Because document sharing, um, we're going to do in a different way than the way my accounting lab does it. Communication tools is, we're going to use the communication tools that are in Blackboard to communicate with each other. The announcement, the discussion board, the announcement area, the emails. Um, and then the syllabus is already in the course info. So I made those unavailable to you. But there are some things I want to show you. Here's your assignments that we were just in that. We were in the all assignments view, which is the same view here. But and you can see right now it shows that, you know, none of this has been taken yet. So it's not showing the grade book score. Once you've taken it, um, it'll show you your score. So and it grades it automatically. So within like 15 or 20 minutes of you pressing the finish button, you're going to have your score on there so you can see how you did. So it's kind of a beautiful thing. You don't have to wait for me, your instructor, to grade it. If it's a quiz or homework or a midterm or a test that you take in my accounting lab, it's going to be automatically graded for you. Going back to the main menu, that was, that was your assignment tab that I just had you on. Um, study plan is an is a area that you can go into if you want to do extra work like it'll tell you, hey, you only got a 50% on the homework for chapter nine. Here's your study plan to do better. And it'll have you go in and do more homework problems for chapter nine. Hopefully none of you have to do that, but it is a way that you can improve on your scores, you know, and, and just in your knowledge, you know, of chapter nine um, by going into study plan. Results. Results tells you in an overall basis how you're doing um, on the homework and the quizzes. Here's your access to the um, Pearson e-text. It's basically an electronic version of the text. So you guys should have this showing as an option once you buy the text and once you sign up for My Accounting Lab. It should give you access to that. And it's, it's a really neat um, thing actually a tool that you can use like when you're out of town and you don't have the text with you you can go into that e-text and still get your homework done you're not going to have access to document sharing multimedia um, library for every chapter you're going to be able to go in and you'll see here now that i've pressed find now for every chapter um, and some of these chapters we're not even going through, but our first chapter is going to be chapter nine. You'll see that there's um, an outline, a lesson, I think LLO stands for lesson outline, for each portion, each section of the chapter, plus it gives you a really nice PowerPoint. And if you go into the PowerPoint, and we'll go in there just so I can show you, um, I'm not going to require you guys to do the PowerPoints, to go through and look at the PowerPoints for each chapter, but I'm here to tell you that it's actually, um, they're helpful. They're, um, and I've taken this as a student, this class, and it is really helpful. It, t it, it goes through, they're not like typical, some of the slides that you see out in the instructor world they don't really tell you anything on the slide. You would actually need an instructor, you know, giving up front, giving you a lecture, and the instruct the, the
the PowerPoint slides are just kind of like background tools. This actually gives you some good information. It tells you what the difference is between a general and a limited partnership. It tells you the types of limited partnerships. And this is all covered in the text too, but this is a nice overview. You might even look at the PowerPoint before you read the chapter or before you do the homework because it gives you a nice overview. It even gives you an example here of how you calculate partnership basis from start to end. Here's an example in the same, using the same fact pattern of how you calculate distributions to a partner from a, dis, from a partnership. It tells you the rules under Section 721 of the Internal Revenue Code on informing a partnership. And then here's another example of calculating basis, character of gain. Like, it basically takes you through the whole chapter. And just for this chapter, there are 45 slides. But, you know, if you're having problems with some particular area, like what the difference is between outside basis and inside basis, because there is a difference normally, um, this would be a good place to go. Um, or you can go into the chapter, the text, which is going to give you much more in-depth help. But again, I like these PowerPoints, so keep them in mind. Don't forget about them. They can be very helpful. So that's in your multimedia library. Chapter resources, this tells you for each chapter what you have available to you. So for chapter 9, which is our first chapter, um, you have chapter homework, you have chapter tests, you have a chapter gradebook available to you, you have a chapter study plan that I talked about. The multimedia library is available to you for this chapter, and also the e-text is available to you for this chapter. So for every, and you know, you can access multimedia library through the main menu as well, but this is another way to look at what's available to you for each chapter. Here's where you will sign up for that and download the free Tax Act software if you want to complete your partnership tax return or your corporate tax return, which you will also be assigned during the semester. In Tax Act, here's where you will download it. I already downloaded it, and um, I had never used Tax Act software, but it's pretty easy to use. It's kind of like TurboTax, but even easier probably than TurboTax. Um, Here's dynamic study modules. Um, this is like self-help. You know, if you want to see, test your knowledge, you can go through and take those. I'm, I'm not saying that they're a great thing. I haven't even been in there. Um, and then these last things, you're not going to, last three, you're not going to have access to. So that is my accounting lab. I hope that this has been. Uh,